It's time now for Local Ace and Local Sports. It's football Friday. They're winking the Yellow Jackets at the Gate in Georgia tonight. Take on South Effingham. Kickoff 7.30 p.m. Our coverage begins at 6.30 at the Wayne County Coaches Show. Here's a portion of the show in which Coach Ken Cribb talks about the Mustangs. Running back number one, he, he's a load now. I'm telling you, he's, he's as good as I've seen this year anyways. How um, tall is he? He, look like he looks like 6'1". 6'1", 210, something like that. But uh, strong, he's fast. Uh, he's, a, he's a workhorse. He's, he's very talented. Um, and you're right, they're, they're, especially their secondary, they, uh, they look like they got a lot of really good athletes on defense. They move well. Um, they're going to be very well coached, I can promise you that, and they're going to be tough kids. Um, uh, they um, they made a game out of it the other night until they tried to onside and gave up field position, and it kind of kind of lost it from there. <coughs> but they're, um, uh, they're going to have a game plan, and they're going to execute it, and, uh, you know, Whatever reason we never play well over there, we gotta we gotta we gotta fix that, overcome that. Um, so uh, you know that field, the turf's not great. It's loose turf, soft turf, and uh, it's baiting some some rain Friday night too. So um, we're gonna have to go over there and play as uh, mistake-free football as we can, and uh, you know make sure we get some points on the board. And again, you can hear all Coach Cripps' comments on the Wayne County Coach Show this evening at 6.30. That leads into our pregame show from South Effingham at 7, then kickoff at 7.30 p.m. Wayne County, South Effingham tonight here on Big Dog Country, FM 105.5. Again, saw South Effingham last week against Appling County. They're going to run the ball 95% of the time with senior running back Cameron Edwards, number one, and this speedster junior, Justin Martell, had a 65-yard touchdown run against Appling County. Quarterback, a sophomore, number 12, Caden De Janeiro. Again, they don't throw it very much, but they do have an excellent field goal kicker. He kicked a 55-yarder into the win last Friday night in Baxley in Wayne County, South Effingham tonight here on Big Dog Country at 105.5. Have it all for you beginning at 6.30 with the coaches show. Other games of note in high school football, Long County's taking on Butler. Applin's on the road at Tift. The Ware Thompson game's been canceled. Warner Robins plays Northside. Warner Robins. Coffee plays Salem, BC plays North Oconee, Creekside and Cartersville, a good matchup tonight. Colquitt at Valdosta, always fun, and Camden is at Mary Edda. Varsity Girls softball team lost a region game at home Thursday to Ware County. Final score, 4-2. Ware County moves to 3-0 in region play. Eddie Tyra pitched a good game for Wayne County, also had a solo home run in the bottom of the sixth. Ware led three zip, headed to the bottom of the sixth. Wayne rallied for two runs to get within 3-2, but Ware added a run in the top of the seventh and they win the game by a final score of 4-2. Next game is Thursday, hosting Warner Robins. That'll be senior night. Middle school football Thursday, Arthur Williams beat a middle school softball yesterday. Arthur Williams beat Long County 15-0. Morgan Boat right through a perfect game. Peyton Spell hit her third home run of the season. Dallas Hall also a home run. Avery Smith had two doubles and her nine times hit a triple. 15-0 blowout, Arthur Williams over Long County in middle school softball. Middle school football Thursday, Martha Puckett lost to Waycross Middle School with a final score, 26 zip. Cross country team in action this Saturday morning, final of the four Saturday runs, 8 a.m., race in Coffee County, the home meet set for Thursday next week here around 4.30 p.m. College football Saturday, Georgia now ranked number two in the country. They'll host UAB in Athens at 3.30. Dogs about a four touchdown favorite in the game. Georgia Tech on Saturday on AM 13.70. They will host Kennesaw State. And Georgia Southern on the road Saturday at Florida Atlantic. That kickoff at 3.30 on FM 105.5. Tomorrow, two-hour pregame show gets underway at 1.30. Sunday, we've got Atlanta Falcons football. They're at home on taking on Philadelphia. That kickoff at 1 p.m. All the action here on Big Dog Country. And on AM 1370, Jacksonville at Houston. That game also at 1 p.m. Last night, the NFL season kicked off. Tampa Bay and Dallas, a good ball game. Tampa Bay kicks a chip shot field goal with just two seconds left in the game and beat Dallas by a final of 31-29. to Atlanta Braves homestand going just as they wished as they're increasing their lead in the National League East. Braves win last night extra innings over Washington 7-6, and their lead now three and a half games. They head into the weekend tonight, taking on Miami. First pitch 7-20 that game tonight on AM 1370. Still time to sign up for the OA Hunter Golf Tournament. Set for next Saturday, September 18th, start time 1.30. Format two-man, 18-hole scramble, $200 per team. If you need more information, call the Pro Shop at 427-6505 or call 294-3172. That's going to do it for the latest in local sports.